Good morning, let us pray. Father, thank you for the joy of another week. Thank you for the joy of another day. Thank you for the privilege to be called your children. Thank you because to us you are Father, you are Habba Father, and we give you praise. And Lord, as we start the journey of this new week, we desire your manifest presence, your manifest glory, and your manifest power. That Lord, it shall be a week of divine favor to the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I'm sure we heard that. It shall be a week of divine favor. And can I declare that it is a week of divine favor. Um, our style today will be a bit different. Uh, let's look at um, uh, Acts chapter 7 and verse 10. The Bible says, Concerning Joseph and delivered him out of all his afflictions and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he made him governor over Egypt and all his house. Don't forget, it's a week of divine favor. The word favor, what does it mean? Illogical approval. Approval that does not make sense. You are just simply approved of and uh, for no obvious reason than the fact that God is with you. Special attention. When you're given special attention, attention you do not deserve ordinarily, but that is coming your way. It's another mark of the favor of God. Preferential treatment. That's another manifestation of the favor of God. You are simply preferred. There are others there, but some way, somehow, and that's because of the God factor again, you are simply preferred. Can I declare to you that this week you will enjoy preferential treatment, you will enjoy special attention, and you will experience and enjoy illogical approval in the name of Jesus. So back to Acts 7 verse 10. The Bible says two things there. Concerning Joseph, he was delivered out of all his afflictions and God gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh. He stood before Pharaoh, he interpreted the dreams of Pharaoh, you know, he manifested the wisdom of God, get counsel, but beyond that wisdom, there was also favor. There was also favor speaking for him. Can we claim divine favor even this week as we begin the journey of this week? Heavenly Father, we claim divine favor for the journey of this week. Every single day of this week, every single hour this week, every single minute, second this week, we shall enjoy your own favor in the name of Jesus. As we turn to the right, as we turn to the left, we shall enjoy your favor in Jesus' name. Let's open to Deut Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 23. We've started praying already, but we are praying, you know, systematically as we follow the scriptures. Deuteronomy 33 and uh, verse 23. It was a prophetic declaration that Moses, the servant of God, made over the 12 tribes. And for one of those tribes, the tribe of Naphtali, see what he said. And of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor, satisfied with favor, and full of the blessing of the Lord, possess thou the west and the south. O Naphtali, satisfied with favor. Can you ask the Lord that this week you will be satisfied with favor because you are a carrier of the blessing of the Lord? Lord, this week, because I'm a carrier of the blessing, Christ in me is the blessing. Christ in me is the embodiment of the blessing of the Father. And because of the blessing, Lord, this week I'm satisfied with favor. I have favor in overflowing proportions. Lord, this week I have favor, illogical approval, preferential treatment in overflowing dimensions. I'm satisfied with favor this week. I confess and I declare in the name of Jesus. And because of that satisfaction, of the favor of God, he was to possess the west and the south, meaning God's favor enlarges a man. Can you claim divine enlightenment on account of the favor of God this week? I claim divine enlightenment on account of the favor of the Lord upon my life this week. Divine enlightenment. I break forth to the right, I break forth to the left. I possess the south, I possess the west as it is written. Round about me, the favor of God makes room for me in the name of Jesus. Can we look at another scripture there? Uh, the book of Esther chapter 5, the book of Esther chapter 5 and verse 2, what does it say? And it was so when the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight and the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. It was a time when Esther was not invited and if she appeared and the king was not 
uh, uh, the favorably disposed towards that, that was death. So what would bring death uh, was replaced with the favor of God for Esther. Can you claim the favor of God in places where men dare to tread? The favor of God in unfamiliar territory. The favor of God in unlikely places. Claim the favor of God. Uh, declare the favor of God over your life this week. Lord, this week I claim favor from un, 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 unknown Lord, from unfamiliar territories, unknown territories, uh, from strange environments, favor coming from strange places, uh, favor coming from unexpected sources uh, in the name of Jesus, favor coming from realms uh, where others who are not of the covenant will perish. Lord, favor proceeding from such places unto me, unto everyone praying with us on this broadcast uh, this morning. The favor of God uh, beyond uh, the knowledge of men, the favor of God that transcends uh, even the disposition of men, the favor of God that heaven alone can confer upon a man, I receive this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, let's proceed to the book of Psalm chapter 5, uh, the book of Psalm chapter 5 and verse 12. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. Oh, for thou, Lord, will bless the righteous, uh, the blessing of the Lord. The blessing, the word blessing there is an empowerment to prosper. And the blessing of the Lord is reserved for the righteous. The righteous are not those who are self-righteous. The righteous are those who are washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Then you have upon you the imputed righteousness of Christ. You are blessed. Ah, for thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. Lord, this is a week of the blessing of the Lord. A week of the blessing of the Lord upon us, for we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So we are blessed coming in. We are blessed going out. We are blessed rising up. We are blessed lying down. We are blessed in our habitations. We are blessed in our storehouses. We are blessed in the labors of our hands. We are blessed in everything that we lay our hands upon to do this week that is in line with your will and purpose. We carry the blessing. Thank you, Father. Not only that, and it says, uh, it says, uh, with favor thou wilt compass him as with a shield. Another benefit for the righteous. Number one, the blessing. Number two, with favor you encompass him like a shield. Can you claim the favor of God in a dimension that you are, you are surrounded? You are surrounded with it. Lord, this week we're surrounded with your favor. This week your favor garnishes our lives. This week your favor garnishes our families. This week your favor garnishes our children. This week your favor garnishes those who are in business, those who are in ministry, those who are in paid employment. Your favor garnishes us. This week your favor garnishes the young, your favor garnishes the old. Your favor is a shield round right about us and a shield protects us. And because of your favor, we are shielded from evil. We are shielded from calamity this week in the name of Jesus. We are shielded from disaster. We are shielded from affliction. We are shielded from strange illnesses and diseases. Even this week in the name of Jesus, we are shielded from the bullet of the assassins. We are shielded from kidnappers. Even this week in the name of Jesus, we are shielded from bandits. We are shielded that from forces of darkness because your favor is a shield unto us. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We're still praying. We're still praying. Psalm 30 and verse 7. Let's look at that. Psalm 30 and verse 7. Lord, by thy favor, thou has made my mountain to stand strong. By thy favor, thou has made my mountain to stand strong. The favor of God gives strength. Can you receive strength by the favor of God? Can you receive exaltation by the favor of God? Can you receive announcement by the favor of God? Can you receive enlargement by the favor of God? Lord, I receive strength on account of your favor upon my life this week. I receive enlargement on account of your favor upon my life this week. I receive exaltation. Exaltation, that is promotion on account of your favor upon my life this week. Your favor promotes, your favor enlarges, your favor increases. Lord, I claim the increase that comes with your favor this week for myself, for my household, for your people, for everyone praying on this broadcast this morning and those who will watch at other times. Your favor makes our mountain to stand strong in the name of Jesus. And when your mountain is standing strong, the enemy cannot penetrate that mountain. The enemy cannot mess with you. Lord, on account of your favor upon our lives, we are impenetrable to the enemy. We are, we are impenetrable to the force of darkness. We carry the force of invisibility in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And let's look at one more scripture as we round up. Psalm 45 verse 12. And the daughter of Ty shall be there with a the gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. Men of influence will look for you because of the favor of God upon your life this week. In the name of Jesus, in places where it matters, you will be looked for. 
Again, special attention, illogical approval, preferential treatment. It's our week of favor. Claim it in Jesus' name. Till I come your way again next Monday, remain blessed and charged in the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you.